Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, here to talk about why I am Christian, or at least why I have remained Christian. If you do not know about the Christian faith, you may not know what confirmation basically is. I mean, what confirmation is. Well, I'm going to tell you. Basically, confirmation is, well, you know how the Jewish have bought mitzvahs, some Hispanic cultures have quinceaneras, that's for their 15 year old daughters, and we have sweet 16s. Well, confirmations are basically that. It's basically, now I don't, I don't think I read from the Bible, I don't remember read if that's what you had to do, I have not gone through it. I'm just saying. I did not go through confirmation, so yeah, I don't know how this ceremony really works. I'm just saying that's kind of the equivalent. Is that this is me discovering myself as a Christian now as a young adult. However, I'm no longer 13, I'm in my 20s. I decided to forgo the whole confirmation thing, not because I don't believe in God. Uh, that's the part I'm trying to get to. I do believe in God still. I, I just felt confirmation was unnecessary. Because I felt basically what is we could do that is it's basically you choose your church where you will be married. And I had this thing growing up where, you know, it's not a smart thing to choose before you really know what you want. But I digress. The reason why I have remained a Christian, one, Venus. First one is, I kind of felt after having my baptism, I made a promise. I mean, I may have been very young when I made the decision. But I made that promise, and I kind of feel like, of all the promises I've made in my life and have broken, I kind of feel like I'm owed to keep this promise. Not just because I believe in God, not just because of that, it's just, I'm that kind of person. And when I make a promise like that, if you have a big promise like this, I'm going to most likely keep it. I'm not one of those people who, you know, flops around and says, no, I'm not going to keep it. I mean, I will say, I have been very lazy with this channel, like, I was supposed to have a few things up by now, and, again, I personally apologize, I will make more of an effort to do so in the future, and, but, that is for something else to be discussed. However, I do still plan to believe in God because I I don't feel any reason not to, to be honest. I just don't. And I guess that's I guess two would be I did not grow up in a culture that you know, had a hateful view of Christ. Or anything of that point or concept. Um, I understand that there are Christians all around. There's plenty of Christians everywhere that are acting out, throwing fits, you know, and using the Bible as an excuse to bash people, regardless of the situation. But the thing is. I'm not going to let them sway my belief any more than someone who is atheist has to sway their belief. You know, I just, you know, you just don't push the word of God on someone who doesn't want it, and nor wishes to follow it. That's not fair. All I can do is just say, all I feel as a Christian, all I can really do is just say, okay, these are my beliefs. You don't have to agree with them. And I don't understand Christians who can't do that. Now, 
I guess that's not really getting down to it. To be honest, the reason why I think I was, I'm still a Christian is just I made a promise when I was really young, and I kind of feel like mm -hmm, what's wrong with being baptized and keeping on something like that? It's not harmful, really. If anything, it's not harmful at all to still be Christian. It's harmful when you allow your Christianity to hurt other people, and, and like I said, I've said this multiple times, I'm, I'm aware of that. But the reason why I want to do this video, if I want, I want to do this video, was I made a video stating that I am Christian, but I didn't exactly explain why. And to be honest, I'm kind of on the bridge kind of on on the edge of being and not being Christian but I feel no real ill will to the faith I'm not part of any organizations that you know you know kill the gays or anything like that or anything of that sort I am more I if I want if I have anything to do with it. It's more of the stuff that has happened to me. And I was brought up that way as well. And does that mean I, I prevent me from making that opinion? No. It's just this is how I grew up. This is how I was raised. And so, what can you do? Now, folks, all I can tell you is if you ever have children and you happen to be Christian, expose them to all religions. Do not be afraid to. It is not going to lead your child down the wrong path. It's just say, okay, this is how those people believe. It is to open up your mind. And if your child is truly what he or she says he or she is, he'll go to there. You will remain a Christian. Or... Maybe you might change. Maybe. Anyways, this is Emily O'Malley. Sign it. And don't get too nervous about this thing. Just, like I said, just be accepting if he does and if he doesn't. Anyways, please follow me on my Tumblr and my Twitter, and have a good night.